Okay, hey guys, so I am back again. This is Tara, your Wawa girl. Um, looking crazy again. But um, I wanted to finish um, the last. Um, oh lord, I can't even talk now. I ate at some Jimmy John's. This place right here is the shit. So I'm trying to lose weight, and apparently that's not working because I'm still eating bread. But I slowed down a lot of fast foods because I'm gonna be 48 this year so um, okay before I was really interrupted I had to take the kids to work and um, they would start talking and listening to music while I was trying to videotape so um, I wanted to touch base with you and finish my story on Spruce Creek High School that this is a continuance of course um, so at the end of the day um, oh, when I was researching the video, I just want to say um, Jamie and Jasmine again. But uh, Jamie and James, they graduated from from Spruce Creek. Now, when when I was talking with Dr. Rents, um, you know, my whole my sole purpose in I just took a picture of the girl thinking, okay, well, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to show Dr. Sparger, look, this girl says that she has done this to her as well. So, I mean, if, if she's doing it to everybody, how's she getting away with this? Because they're kids. And I didn't want to ask her her name or say, hey, can I tell you, you know, because um, the administrator was right there. Um, the, the lady that's been there for years, the receptionist or secretary or whatever she is. I just got up and I took the picture right next to her. I didn't think it was a big deal. She didn't say, hey, mommy, you know, you can't do that, whatever, whatever. She didn't ask her, say, well, what are you doing? So I stopped a snapshot of this, of this chick and, you know, I was going to take it to Dr. Sparger and said, look, you need to find out what's going on. Call this girl to the office, not in front of Dr. Renz, because apparently she's an administrator and, like, these people, they always got their backs. You know what I mean? Regardless of what. So this would have been like, hey, you know what? This is what's going on. This is what was done to my daughter, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, so apparently Dr. Renz is putting her hands on kids. For her, for this, for this child, and she's a white girl. She said, she said, um, she did it to her. So I'm not even gonna say like it's racial, whatever she is, because Jasmine's like, oh, she singles me out all the time, blah 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 blah, blah whatever it is. So, um, oh lord, I'm gonna break for a second. I'm so tired. Um. You know, like I said, when I saw her and she's black, I was surprised. So, um, so I'm not even gonna touch racial, whatever it is, but it's the fact that she's putting her hands on these kids and getting away with it. She feels as though it's like, okay, well, I spend like uh, freaking 100 years in the school, I should be able to do whatever I want to get a kid's attention. Dr. Ransom doesn't work like that. You can sit there and tell me, you know, whatever, whatever. And I believe all, all that time that, that, um, Deputy Lococo was sitting there typing, typing fast or doing whatever he was doing on that laptop. He probably um, edited the video or whatever the case may be. Because it wasn't until after he slammed down that laptop and you looked at him and she was like, oh, we can watch the video, we can watch the video. Look, regardless of what you say, I believe my child. And for that second girl to come out and say you did it to her, I believe her too. I wish I knew who her parents were. Because now I'm trespassed from the motherfucking school. I would have went and I would have found a parent and said, hey, you know what? You need to check this administrator. You need to do this. So I am calling the district just to let you guys know. And they will do their investigation. Hey, if they want to do criminal charges or whatever it is on Jasmine, they, they said that she was hitting you. Well, you know what? Then whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But you will be caught. You will be caught. You will be caught. You're going to fuck around with the wrong people's children in there. Either the parents going to come get you at the school or that child will get you. Because now these, nowadays, half of these kids, with the way they carry on, with shit that goes home, with shit that's going on in school, you're going to put your hands on the wrong child and they're going to whip your ass. They will assault you for putting your hands on them. So the school could edit whatever cameras they want to edit to make the child look bad, but one of these days you are going to run into the wrong child or, or the wrong child with the wrong parent. 
when Deputy Lococo was in there talking all that shit to me, you don't think I wanted to 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 tell his ass off and tell him, look, first of all, you don't fucking approach anybody like that. I don't even know why I was why I was directed to your office. Now that I know I'm there and this is what's going on, you could have said, hey, listen, this is a school. You can't do this. You can't do that. Half of these fucking girls in there, they got all their ass out on Facebook. They got all their ass out on Instagram and on Snapchat. So what you saying? I couldn't take an innocent little picture to be like, hey, this girl said that she put her hands on her too. Because 99 out of 100, let me tell you something. They're scared of getting in trouble from an administrator. So she's not going to be like, no, I can't say anything. I can't tell my name because I would get in trouble. Hell, I'm a grown-ass woman. And shit happens where I want to be like, oh, this, she did this or she did that. But you know what? I, won't, I don't want to lose my job. Because sooner or later, it's going to come out, oh, Tara said this and Tara said that. Now there's going to be beef. It will catch up to you. It will catch up to you. Karma is a bitch. You do not put your hands on anybody's child. Regardless if you touched her like this or if you try to block her. Because now you're provoking some shit to happen. A lot of kids will not stand for that. When we're in the office and if there's any cameras in there, which I highly doubt, but it might be. You were on camera saying she was telling you, oh, fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. Yes, that is how Jasmine talked with that bro shit. Yes, it is. But she and Malik were stating that Jasmine said that she was telling you, don't fucking touch her, bro. Don't fucking touch her, bro. But yes, you said everything else except the don't touch. So now I know you did put your hands on my child. Because you were sitting there like, fuck, bro, fuck, bro. That's exactly how Jasmine talked. And she was telling you, don't fucking put your hands on her, bro. She has no reason to put her hands on you unless you put your hands on her first. Because you are an adult. I am from a West Indian background. My parents are from Trinidad. We are all raised with respect, manners, discipline, everything. Jasmine was not raised as no child in the street. She knows to respect her elders unless, and we tell them straight up, every fucking body. Somebody put their, their hands on you, you put your hands on them. Somebody disrespect you, you disrespect them. Because this is the fucking world that we're living in today. Now granted, I sat there and I listened to all this bullshit that he had to tell me and all this or whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, my child still went to that school. But now when you decide to trespass me over bullshit, because hell, I was just going to be like, look, this is a girl that said they put their hands on you. Boop. You know who she is? Delete it. Because I have no other reason for that child to be on my phone. And because of that, it escalated into something else. I should have never been trespassed. You could have given me a warning. God, that sounds familiar. Hmm. Anyway. And dissolve the whole situation right there. Now. And yes, Spruce Creek isn't a school. Yes, Spruce Creek is a racist school. I have never experienced racism until I've came to Port Orange. Matter of fact, moved to Central Florida. I had cops profiling me. I've gotten pulled over many times. I had a cop run after me on his feet, banging in my car back window, telling me my tints are illegal. Bruh, the car was a fucking 1998. The tints were peeling off the window. You could see straight through the motherfuckers. Like, this is the type of shit that we go through in this day and age. But the moral to the story is I went there simply, okay, my daughter didn't have on a, a polo shirt. She had, her, It was a, a round neck. Her neck was covered. Long sleeve. Her arms were covered. And you're going to dress code her for because it didn't have a, a collar on it. And half of these kids in the school is walking around naked. And you come after my daughter for this. And then you put your hands on my child. You know, like, that's that's inappropriate. And I am calling the district. And, and as far as Deputy Lococo, like, you need to be pro more professional about things. Because you are a sheriff in our town. 
you are. You are at that school for a reason. Not to bully people, not to do all kind of shit because, just because, oh, the craziness around here. That's expected in any fucking school. It is. It is, whether you like it or not. And that's why you are there. But you need to see both sides and not just try to bite somebody's head off. Or quick to trespass me, because they'd be damn. I'd be damned if you're gonna trespass me. My child's still in that school. There's no fucking way. You know, a lot of shit happened yesterday that shouldn't have happened. I agree, and I understand that. But moral to my story is fuck the dress code and bullshit. I was more um, upset at the fact that she told you in front of me. Yes, I did do like this. You put your finger, really, or did you grab her? And that was okay with him because of so much shit that happens in the school. I wonder if it was your child. Would you say, oh, well, that's okay. No, they can pull you by your ear. It's okay. They can snatch you by your shirt. It's okay. They can grab you by the back of your pants and hold it up and you're fine. No. Shit like that, you do things like that when you're trying to break up a fight. But something like this, you could have just wrote her name down because you know her and say, okay, Jasmine, blah, blah, blah. Um, she's dress coded. Call her to the office. Let her go wherever the fuck she's going. Call her to the office. And if you can't resolve it then, if she's acting up then, because, yeah, she does get her attitude just like any other child. And I'm going to tell you now, you, you, you probably, half the time, unless she's a little bully, you won't see an attitude from little uh, white girls in there. But uh, black black women, black girls, oh, yeah, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it in the face. You're going to see it the way they talk to you. You're going to see it in anything. But that's no way. If my child's not putting their hands on you, do not put your hands on her. Call me. Let me deal with Jasmine. I will take her ass home. Now, we're going to have a talk in the car. We're going to have a talk at home. We're going to have a talk all day and all week. And I bet you she won't do it again. I bet you now... She's going to have mad polos when she comes to school. But what are the results of? It resulted in me being trespassed. I wasn't yelling. I wasn't screaming. I wasn't arguing. I wasn't doing anything. I was just trying to find out why am I being directed to the deputy's office. Because of a picture. And I showed him. I said, look. And the picture's even blurry. The picture's even blurry. I said, my whole point in taking the picture was, and he's, he still fucking trespassed me and wrote, oh, um, parent took picture of another student to prove a point. So why am I being trespassed? Uh, shit like that, just fucked up. Let me tell you something. There's good students, there's great students. There's great administrative. There's fucked up administrative. How many administrators that you see on YouTube slamming students, throwing shit at students? That shit used to happen to us. I ain't gonna bullshit. I ain't gonna lie to you. But <coughs> not like the shit they're doing today. I remember being in um, elementary school. Between Mrs. Johnston and Mrs. Smith, we used to call her Eminem. Because for some reason, this woman always pulling out a bag of Eminems out of her boobies. Let me tell you. And we would sit there talking. Next thing you know, we see a stapler flying. She wouldn't hit us, though, but that should be right close, like right there with you. Okay, we see a stapler flying. We see pencils flying. Because she can't get up. She was a big woman in your front. But, yes, yeah, shit like that happened back in school. But that was like, what, 1980s? Mrs. Johnson had a paddle. Do you know what? Like those ping pong paddles, about this thick. Whenever our ass was talking and we had to stand up in the cafeteria, and I'm talking like, we were like, what, eight, nine, ten years old? Like, what? Oh, that was sixth grade. I don't know how old I was in sixth grade, but whatever how old I was, that's how old I was. We would have, when we stood up and had to eat our lunch standing, eat our lunch standing up, as soon as we get back to the portables, she'd be like, hold the file cabinet. We held the file cabinet, and we got our ass whooped. I think it was. Two whippings or three whippings with that with that paddle. Back then, you could do shit like that. Hell, we cried and shit. We probably ended up standing up again in the cafeteria. You know, I remember um, one kid, John Bishop. Oh my God, never forget him. Let me tell you something. He was like, "Hell no, you ain't hitting me," and he ran. 
He ran and he went home. There were twins, John and James. And, um, but the fact that it, it was still, like, that's the shit that you, that, that's the type of shit that you did back then. So, nowadays you can't do that. Because it might escalate into something bigger. You know what I mean? But, look, regardless of the fact of what it is, you know, in the, like, I, like I was saying, there's good kids, there's bad kids, there's good teachers, there's bad teachers, just like cops. You guys are shooting to kill rather than shooting to wound. And half of you just doing it just because. And that's not cool. You're killing innocent kids, you're killing innocent children. Um, somebody's mother, somebody's brother, somebody's sister, somebody's mother. Like half of this shit got to stop. But it won't. Because this is the day and age we're living in. But I just wanted everybody to touch base and let you know that what happened yesterday at Spruce Creek should have never happened. I should have been warned and said, hey, you can't take pictures of a juvenile, even if it's to prove a point or whatever the case may be. Now my child would have went to school this morning, appropriately dressed in her polo shirt. It, it gets to the point... Um, Jasmine had on a polo shirt, and she had on a jacket over it. But because they didn't see her collar sticking out, she got dress coded. What kind of shit is that? Um, she has a collar, regardless of whatever. She has on a fucking jacket. What? Like I'm not understanding. So are you really single 